Hey, it's Rihanna. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Some super exciting stuff is happening right now in Houston. It's snowing. <laughs> um, actually, not really. There was like literally two seconds worth of flurries, but I got it on video. Oh my gosh, I don't know if y'all can tell, but it's snowing here. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna go live, bye. It is going to be freezing tonight and we need to wrap our pipes and stuff. And I also need to go to the grocery store. As y'all know, I don't normally vlog that much in the middle of the week anymore. Um, but in case it might snow again, I need to be vlogging. Um, cause if it actually like, I want I just, I have to document it. I mean, I know if you're watching this and you're not in Texas, you're up somewhere where it snows more often. You're like, y'all Southerners are crazy. But for people like me who've been born and raised in Texas, have only seen snow a handful of times in my entire life and I'm 36 years old. It's a big deal and I want to document it. But yeah, it's, it's real cold out there. But we need to we need to wrap our pipes. It's like that one is exposed a little bit. Let me go check the other one. Let's do a walk around. And that one too. Just a little bit though. And then I'm almost positive that the big one on the like the main one over here on the other side of the house. Almost positive that one isn't wrapped at all. Let's take a look. Um, it's got some old, old wrapping on it, but we need to get some more and really wrap it up good. I want to say, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but that thing right there, Right there in the middle of the screen not the trash can but the thing next to the house that is the AC and heat for our garage which is really super cool and I was just out there this morning putting away Halloween decorations like all the way away like back in the storage containers and where they belong in the garage and I was able to turn the heat on it was so nice so first thing I'm gonna do um, we're gonna go up to the shop and um, hopefully Jonathan and I can go up to Lowe's and get the stuff that we need for um, our pipes and then I also need to go to the grocery store yeah so that's what the day is just gonna be consisting of that kind of stuff nothing too super exciting <sighs> it's cold guys um, I am originally hold on one second I originally was planning on filming an update to my um monthly goals because it's about halfway through the month now i'm just gonna be 100 percent honest and say that both jonathan and i are up right now about hmm i don't know i don't know exactly we're up some pounds from our load because of the weekend and uh just haven't been very good about sticking to our goals it is what it is all right let's look at my outfit today because i'm kind of cute so i have on my boots the lighting in here it's so hard let's see yeah i'll see better this way yeah so i have on my boots leggings and this sweater dress that i got from charlotte Roos. um i really wish there was a pocket right here because i feel like there should be one but that's okay. All right, let's go to this car as soon as I pull up. Because I know this person over here. Yay! We didn't see no snow. Jacob did. Lots of it. It's he rusted in our face too. Yeah, he's all FaceTiming with it snowing around him. Where is he at? Downtown. Down there. Yeah. That way. Really? He's further south and he got some more than up here? Yeah. That's crazy. My car decided it didn't want to start today and leave us sitting in it freezing cold. Oh, that sucks. And I'm, and I'm like literally starving because I haven't eaten anything. And I was just Except for four cookies in my car that we found. <laughs> Joy! Where'd you go? We're back at Lowe's. I feel like we haven't been here in like 100 years. 
We need more of that? We need more stuff? Yeah. Oh. I like how you're shopping for the shop too. For the home stuff on shop time. I'm fine with that. Not a problem to me. Look at that sexy beast. Huh? So look at that sexy beast. Yeah. Roar. So sexy. Want to touch the booty. Oh Jesus. Stop saying that. I'm gonna get you out of that habit. Kick your ass. <laughs> All right, babe. All right, I, lo babe. I love you. Love you. He's so cute. <laughs> From the grocery store, shot up, thought I would show y'all the haul. Got some sugar-free candies so I can poop. An avocado and some cabbage. Uh, 18 count of eggs. Two and a quarter pounds of the 90-10 ground beef. A pound of Italian sausage. And some bacon. Low carb tortillas. A pound of turkey breast and a pound of black forest ham. These are on sale for a dollar right now at Walmart. As well as these um, cheese slices. I got two of the pepper jack. They had a couple other flavors. Um, but I really, I'm like on a pepper jack kick right now. I got some rosemary, cream cheese, two cans of Rotel, some chicken broth, some fiber supplement, and some Drano. Yay! I spent like 58 bucks, I think. And this is basically two dinners. We're gonna have taco soup tonight and tomorrow because it makes more than one night's worth. And we're gonna have fried cabbage. Um, and that'll be for two nights of dinner as well. Now I'm gonna go try to go serve a subpoena, hopefully. I'm not 100% positive the guy works today, but I have left probably 10 messages for him and he's not calling me back. And so I'm just gonna have to go run up there real quick, even though it's like a 40 minute drive. So many cops. Cops, cops, cops. So I made it up here. I got here about five till two and they do roll call and like a little briefing meeting at the beginning of their shifts. I'm having to wait for about 20 minutes or so. And it's too cold to wait outside. Hopefully I get them soon because I really need to go home and start dinner. <laughs> I want to have that taco soup and it needs to be in the crock pot at least for a couple of hours. I've made the taco soup by the way as a Tasty Tuesday recipe. So there'll be a link up in the eye if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, it's just chicken broth, hamburger, rotel. You just brown up the hamburger meat and then you throw everything in the crock pot. And since the meat's already cooked, you just leave it in the crock pot for probably about three or four hours and um, let all the flavors like meld together. Okay. They're starting to come out, so maybe I should walk back over there. It was an hour to his Watch those cars um, back tire. Watch this guy's tire. He's wobbly. I made it home. I got the subpoena served. I've got the taco soup going in the crock pot. Now it's just time to change into some warm, comfy clothes. I can't decide if I want to relax on the couch and keep trying to catch up on Grey's Anatomy on Netflix, or if I want to watch some vlogs or what I want to do. Earlier in the video, I said that today's video was originally going to be like a weight loss Wednesday, like check in on my monthly goals. And I was going to talk about how we've been slacking. Uh, I feel like it's just like constant. Um, but there's like half of me that feels like ashamed and like I don't want to talk to y'all about it. Like I don't want to tell y'all. But then there's another part of me that's feels like it's important for me to be real and to show y'all like my struggles and things like that because it's important to see that while Jonathan and I have been extremely successful in our weight loss, that we still have moments where we're weak or we make bad choices or whatever, 
Um, so yeah, I'm I'm up like I'm up like five. It's my same five. It's I always anytime that I stop um, doing doing well, I always gain back those five like maintenance pounds. Um, so yeah, I'm almost to the point where I just want to call call it like good for the rest of the year because with holidays and all the social activities and all that but at the same time it's like no i still have goals i want to achieve so uh but anyways okay i know i'm not alone and you aren't either we're still good people even if we make poor choices make better choices the next go round as in later on today or the next meal you have or the next snack or whatever there's always opportunities to make better choices okay Let's go be lazy. I feel like that's a good choice. Right, Milo? You wanna be lazy? Hmm? Hmm. He wants to play outside because it's cold and he loves the cold. But mama's done with the cold. Yeah, it's snack time. Probably why I can't lose any freaking weight. <laughs> Half a carb smart tortilla with some cheese and some queso fresco. Yum. Yeah, I feel guilty already, but I'm gonna eat it. Taco soup is done. I topped it with some shredded cheese and a, a little bit of avocado. Um, what is that, like a little bit less than half of an avocado. Jonathan is outside. He just got home from work. He's putting the piping insulation stuff on our pipes since we're supposed to have a hard freeze tonight. But he had pretty rough into his night he does not want to be on the vlog and um but i did ask permission to be able to talk about what happened and basically um so they're a car auto repair shop or whatever but they also have a used car lot at one of their locations and they sell like some cars it's not like a main source of business but it's something that they do and apparently tonight a guy came in and he was really upset he didn't like what Jonathan had to tell him and he went back out to his car and Jonathan just had a feeling that something was off and so Jonathan grabbed his handgun and just had it like out and the guy came back with a hammer and was coming back around the counter um, and Jonathan didn't point the gun at him. He called 911 and the police came. The guy left before the police got there. And it's just really scary. <laughs> like, what if the guy decides to come back? You know, Jonathan is pressing charges though. So, um, like the guys, they have all of his information. They have a copy of his driver's license. They know his address, telephone number, all that information. Cause he, bought a car from them so hopefully nothing comes of it but it's still like really scary and like makes me worried but anyways my battery is flashing and I need to go ahead and wrap up the vlog so subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to click that thumbs up button and I will see you guys next time bye today I'm gonna be making a keto chili that you can make in your crock pot